Okay guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. So this event, uh, finally the part 3 is out already. So I can play part 3 and maybe this is the end of the story for this event. And yeah, I got Ningguang skin already. And since I got Keqing, I also got Keqing skin. I think I already showed that. So anyway, I have to wait until 8 to 12 the next day. There we go. That's not the one. Meet with coaching, okay. Oh, Sincho is there too. Rest assured, all is quiet here in Chinksa village. Chong Yun is guarding the outside and I'm guarding the inside. Not a problem in sight. Good. I've made some progress in my investigation as well. Oh? What are you planning? Is it time to strike? Perfect timing. <laughs> Let's go! Traveler, Paimon, you are just in time. I looked everywhere and I found some clues regarding the treasure hoarders. Besides wagon tracks, I also came across bits and pieces of fireworks packaging scattered on the road. Following those clues, I was able to finally locate the missing fireworks. But there was no sign of treasure hoarders. No sign of treasure hoarders. No, I think they might be just overly careless. I seem to have found the location where they've been stashing all their stolen goods. They must have thought it was well hidden and deemed it unnecessary to post any guards. The amount of fireworks they've amassed there is astonishing. Not only did they steal the ones in Chingsa village, but also from other locations hmm. too. They've gathered all the stolen goods there. I've asked the Millilith on guard at Chingsa village to report this to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. They will organize a search around that warehouse. Now that the Millilith is involved, you don't need to handle this yourself anymore! The treasure hoarders are notoriously cunning, and they may even have lookouts. If they notice anything suspicious, they will move the fireworks and our single lead will be lost. I have to keep an eye on the situation. Uh, you're not really thinking that you can take all of them yourself, are you? No, I am not that reckless. I just want to investigate the case thoroughly. But now that I have your help, the idea is feasible. So you really are considering it? We can't let Kachin try to handle this on her own. They're just treasure hoarders. We can take them. <laughs> okay, then there's no time to lose. Let's go. All right, part three now. Let's finish this. Though they are merely a group of irksome bandits, please exercise caution. All right, go to the place Kachin spoke of. Is it just me or the sky is a bit misty, or is it just? Uh, <laughs> graphic. <laughs> All right. Here. Please hide yourselves. That was weird. There was no voice there. <laughs> oh, I guess it's, she was whispering. <laughs> hey, boss. You think we have enough fireworks now? <laughs> Are you kidding? This ain't nowhere what are they doing enough. with the fireworks? Ah, uh, but boss, if we want more fireworks, we're gonna have to steal them in the city. Ain't gonna be easy. <laughs> you got a point. All right, then we steal those things that make a real loud bang but don't light up real pretty. What do they call them? Ah, yeah, firecrackers. Those will do the job. All we need to do is make some real ruckus. As long as we distract the Millilith, the other hoarders can do their end of the job. Do you want to use you this to it? distract? Got it, boss. <laughs> I gotta hand it to you. We're gonna hit the jackpot this time. For yeah, but, uh, boss, all our boys are out scouting around. Don't you think we need a few more to guard the stash? <laughs> He's right, hey, dude. don't worry about it. The Millilith are swamped with lantern right. They won't have time to come out here. All right, move it, boys. Just a few more batches and we'll be... Well, that's your mistake. Uh-oh. Hey, boss, we got trouble. Huh? What happened? The jig is up, boss. The, the, the Millilith are coming, and it seems they've already caught our scouts. If one of the boys hadn't set off a firework to warn us, we would have been completely blindsided. Boss, let's run! But how did the Millilith find out about us? And so quickly, too! Ah, fine! Leave the fireworks and let's split! They won't be catching us! It's time to make our move. Ready? Okay, let's go. Let's go! Drop your weapons and surrender immediately! Get out of my way! You got a death witch or something? 
Why is coaching trial? <laughs> okay, because I because I'm supposed to be using coaching before I get coaching, I guess. <laughs> oh, but she's level 70. I'm actually one level short of this trial. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> All right, so you want to do this the hard way. We we surrender you home. Now, I want some answers. What were you planning to do with the stockpile of fireworks? We we just tell mm -hmm. the truth and I might go easy on you. We uh, fine. We were going to smuggle these fireworks into the city and ignite them during the Lantern Rite's opening ceremony. Okay, but what for? Fireworks are really bright and loud and would definitely raise some havoc. We were gonna rob the city while oh, everyone's distracted by the explosions. That's it. But uh we didn't seem to have enough fireworks, so Oh? So you mean you had more than one group of thieves stealing fireworks? Yeah, that's right. Originally I had all the hoarders out stealing fireworks, but then one of them got caught by the Feyun Commerce mm -hmm. Guild and was arrested. So he was uh I really didn't get it. <laughs> Why did the Feyun Commerce Guild get involved? We were only stealing from the government. No, uh, what I meant is, uh, <laughs> well, I was worried that the guy who got arrested would rat us out. Who would have guessed we'd end up running into you like that? Hey, didn't one of you just say that the Millilith were coming too? Yeah, that's right. I wonder how the Millilith even found out we had dispatched scouts. They somehow captured almost all of them. If someone hadn't alerted us, we would have all been caught. Well... You did get caught. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. <laughs> it appears that the Millilith managed to get the captured treasure hoarder to talk. There may still be other treasure hoarders in the area. We should head elsewhere just to be safe. Right. Traveler, please escort the treasure hoarders back to Chinksa Village and hand them over to the Millilith stationed there. I'll be there once I am finished inspecting this place. All right, be careful. Then. Yes, you too. I'll see you in Chinksa Village. Return to Tingsa Village. Okay. Then I see Chong Yun and Xin Chao. This is the last batch of fireworks that I can get. Please ensure that there will be no further problems. Don't worry. The Yu Hong will be taking care of this personally. And with us on guard, I assure you it'll be safe. Yes, indeed. Oh, it appears the traveler has returned. And with two others. <laughs> Yeah, the thieves. It's definitely dangerous to infiltrate an enemy area like that. If only I was there to fight alongside you. Come now, we both know the traveler is most capable. <laughs> but who would have known we performed such a noble deed? We had arrested the treasure hoarder earlier by mere happenstance. Yeah, talk about a coincidence. It seems that justice always finds its way into the world. It is in fateful moments that miracles are born. So it was you! You horrible <laughs> brutes are the ones who stole the fireworks? Just the sight of you two makes my blood boil. Please, calm down. I doubt they'll be causing any more trouble now that they're in custody. Thank you very much, Traveler. But may I ask, why has Lady Kuching not returned with you? Just Lady Kuching was worried there'd be more treasure orders lurking about. She wanted to conduct a full search of the area. Oh, I see. Yes, Lady Kuching is quite thorough. A squad of Millilith came by just now. I believe they were sent by the Ministry of Civil Affairs. I also heard that most of the fleeing treasure hoarders have already been apprehended. Hopefully that will be the end of this matter. Anyway, you may leave these treasure hoarders to us. I will escort them back to the city and make sure they stand right. trial with the others. And thus... Our chapter has finally reached its timely conclusion. I am partial to fireworks myself, but I'm afraid we must also be leaving now. Huh? Why the hurry to get back to the Feiyun Commerce Guild? Oh, Everyone's busy, I guess. Even in, in the holidays. Inevitably, <laughs> affairs do become busier around festive seasons. But no need to worry. We have many attendants to assist us. And there's always Chongyun, too. Huh? 
You mean you're assigning more work to me? It is only my duty as your dearest friend. Work before play, as they say. <laughs> so I'm true, sure you man. understand. So true. So relatable. Oh, all right. I suppose. As the saying goes, many hands make light work. As long as work is assigned to the right people, everything will proceed without a hitch. If you ask me, I think speaking eloquently is just a guise for assigning work to everybody else. All right, all right. I shall treat you to a meal after the work is done. Mm -hmm. Farewell, traveler. Okay. By the way, do you know when Lady Kuching will be back, traveler? Mm. There are not many fireworks in the second batch that I brought, so I'm worried that we can't achieve the show's desired effect. I was hoping we could somehow retrieve the stolen fireworks. Okay. Hey. Hey! Did you hear that explosion? Came from Kuching's location. Fireworks. Okay. <sighs> I guess we're done for. Treasure hold the boss. <laughs> How did the Millilith find us so fast? A burst of fireworks. Could it be the treasure hoarders? Oh, Lady Kuching, please stay safe. It's up to you to find out what's happening, traveler. Good luck. Ha! Your hoarding days are <laughs> over! How dare you cause trouble during Lantern Rite! You'll get what you deserve once we hand you over to the Ministry of Civil Affairs! So, follow the voice to its source. I have to go up there. I can just teleport. What do you think of that? Oops! What did I do? Hmm? Hey! Hoarders. We heard an explosion and thought it might be treasure hoarders sending signals to one another again. Oh, did she accidentally used it? Ah, <laughs> uh, I see. Sorry, that's not the case. <laughs> okay. I saw a few sticks of fireworks on the ground, so I fiddled with them, and sure enough, it seems I accidentally lit the fuse. Before I could react, the fireworks were <clears throat> already up in the air. So no enemies? Well, that's good. We thought you might have been surrounded by bad guys. Uh, I apologize. I didn't mean to alarm you. Fortunately, there are no more treasure hoarders in the area. Okay, so it's done. It seems this matter has finally come to an end. Great! The case of the stolen fireworks is finally solved. Good thing we were able to get to the bottom of it. Otherwise, those beautiful fireworks would have gone to waste, and the whole show would be ruined. By the way, Kuching, you're the one in charge of the fireworks show, which means you know the best viewing spot, right? Yes, of course. The best view should be from, from the, the Jade chamber. chamber. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten my promise. But first, I have to drop by the Ministry of Civil Affairs and close this case. Leave the rest of this to me. You've already been a great help. Why don't you go for a walk around the city and I'll meet you when I'm done? Okay, but we'll be waiting for you. Yes. I'll be there. Wow. <sighs> really is super busy. I'll meet you when I am done. How many times have we heard <laughs> that already? Now Paimon gets why Lady Ningguang is so worried about Kuching. If she keeps working like this, she really will miss the lantern right. Let's go find Zhongli. Oh yeah! We said we would meet oh, him. Okay. Well, it's because she has a lot of responsibilities, I guess. If she's not working, trouble can happen. Like those treasure hoarders. Hey, is that who my Yunjin. Yes, you are quite right. I shall take your wise words to heart, sir. They will certainly be most helpful in my next performance. You are welcome, Miss Yun. Your willingness to hear suggestions is indeed impressive. It's no wonder your opera performance has only been getting better. No, I'm afraid that's not always the case. Though I am still young, I can be quite arrogant at times. 
I do not always accept advice so readily, but your wisdom has spoken to me. Shen Li! We're back! Ah, you've returned. You are also acquaintances? Mm -hmm. Yes, we sure are! Not everyone gets the privilege of meeting someone so knowledgeable and discreet as Mr. Zhang Li. You are indeed well connected, traveler. I am flattered, Miss Yun. It is an honor for an ordinary person like myself to have met the traveler. Ordinary person? Wow. Did you really <laughs> <just> say that? <laughs> I'm sure you must have matters to discuss. I have an appointment with Xin Yan, so if Xin you'll excuse Yan, okay. me, I'll take my leave. Very well. Goodbye, Miss Yun. See you around, Yun Jin. So, tell me, what have you learned from your trip? Yes, around. I see. Well, traveler, what do you make of all their opinions? Then we can weave them into a story. Yeah, hmm? Paimon already started creating her own story on the way here. The goal is to convince Kuching to rest more with just a simple story, right? If that's the case, then Paimon thinks we can use food as our theme. Think about it. Who doesn't like delicious food? And when it comes to eating, simple, everyone has classic. an opinion. Food starts getting worse and worse. How should the story go from there? Ooh, that's good. But wait, <laughs> it's your story. Is really good at cooking? That would make <laughs> sense. There's no need to jump to the conclusion. Why don't you elaborate more on the chef? More about the chef. You mean both good and bad things? Yes. To gain one's empathy, there must be familiarity. I would like to understand this chef character of ours a mm -hmm. little deeper. Hmm. Paimon didn't think this far. Uh, why don't you take it from here? Since you've spoken with others familiar with Kuching, why don't we integrate their thoughts into your story? Oh, that will allow okay. it to become all the more convincing. Um, okay. Let Paimon think. Hmm. What did Cloud Retainer say? As one sows, so do they reap. <laughs> and the joy that. of reaping is what one yearns for. <laughs> that was quite poetic, Paimon. Bravo. <laughs> oh, now Paimon remembers? Cloud Retainer said that if she spends all her efforts working on a machine with no time to test uh -huh, the outcome, right. then she'd be like a chef who doesn't get to try their own food. This is true. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. Yes, it is most unwise to put the cart before the horse. Uh huh. That's exactly what she said. So let's make that happen to the chef in the story. He's great at cooking, but he can't enjoy his own food. Hmm. But there must be a reason why he doesn't partake in the delicacies he makes. Right. He's, He's super, super busy. busy. <laughs> he receives the customers, he takes the orders, and he does all the cooking himself. This is relatable in many ways. <laughs> that should keep him busy enough. He's so busy every day that he doesn't even have time to take a break, which obviously also means he doesn't have time to eat. <laughs> The chef is unwilling to delegate tasks to others. He's overconfident about his own cooking abilities and tries to accomplish everything on his own. Paimon already kind of feels sorry for Many you. hands make light work, I remember that. Oh, right! That's what the chef doesn't understand! And there's another saying. Um, what was it again? Oh, yeah! A rested worker is an efficient worker. That's what Yanfei said. So the chef gets busier and busier 
to the point where he can't stand up straight anymore, and he has big, dark circles under his eyes. The customers tell him to take a few days off to get some rest, but the chef won't listen. His judgment is clouded by the chores before him. He is oblivious to mountains in the distance, the bigger picture. Eventually, the chef falls ill, and his cooking becomes far worse than when he started. The customers can't convince him to rest, and they don't like his cooking anymore. So they stop coming to his restaurant. Hmm. Rest is always of great importance. Although we may come across various difficulties in our lives, pushing ourselves is never a good modus operandi. Here's the thing, eh? This is my opinion, eh? Even if you get to rest, you can always ask others to help. But how in this case? The story is quite simple, without mm -hmm. embellishment, yet deeply meaningful. If our listener is sensible, then she should quickly grasp the meaning contained within. You're saying Paimon made a good story? Sincerity can allow one to see clearly, and earnest advice can provide sound direction. The story is indeed good, but Yuhang is an adroit leader. I am certain she will understand the message you are trying to convey. Really? Score one for Paimon! <laughs> Given that the case involving the treasure hoarders has come to an end, she is inevitably tired. Yep. Now will be the ideal moment to speak with her. If all goes well, I think your story will be a success. Hear that? Zhang Li says Paimon's story has what it takes. If anyone knows a good story, he does. Quick, let's go find Kuchi. All right. Wait until now. Uh, no, I keep looking at this quest. All right, here, this one. Find Kuchi. There she is. The matter has finally come to an end, but we mustn't lower our guard. Increase patrols around Chingsa village and coordinate our people at other fireworks locations to prevent any further theft. Yes, Lady Kuchin. And by the way, the Ministry has requested the Millilith to increase security along travel routes. How is that proceeding? It's all been taken care of. However, due to various reasons, there are still some blind spots in the city. Have we drafted a new patrol map? Please, give me a copy and I'll look it over when I have time. Understood. The patrol map is still being drafted, but it will be ready soon. Okay. Also, I... Oh, excuse me, Lady Kuching. Your friends are here. Hi, Kuching. Still working? Are we going to see the fireworks? Oh, yes. But I thought we'd meet at the Jade Chamber. <laughs> Why have you come Tell us to walk and have a look around. If I'm not mistaken, the traveler <laughs> is here to remind you to take there a break. There is something to tell you. That's right! Something so important that we must speak with you personally, right now! Oh, really? In that case, Jing Chung, I'll let you take charge. Thank you. Understood. I'll handle things from here. <sighs> traveler and Paimon, go. let's go to the Jade Chamber. The view there is nicer and it's much more private. Perfect for talking. To the jet chamber, all right. Well, here we are. What was it you wanted to talk about? A story. Yeah, we want to tell you a story from this beautiful view. What do you say? All right, I'm listening. So it turns out we just heard some big news into that. A very talented chef is in trouble. Oh, is the chef from Liu? From Liu Li Pavilion or Shinua Kiosk, perhaps? No, no, uh, the chef is from Mondstadt, yeah, <laughs> and he's really, really good. He had a restaurant right next to the city gate. He was super efficient, and his cooking was really delicious, so his restaurant had been getting more and more popular. In fact, he became so busy that the worker from the florist next door asked him, Sir, why don't you find someone to help you in the restaurant? But the chef brushed the idea aside, saying that he's the only one that can turn top quality ingredients into world class dishes. No one could help him. Hmm. Well, confidence is an essential trait 
for a good chef. He must be an excellent cook. That's what everyone was saying. But surprisingly, after just six months, no one would dine at his restaurant anymore. Shocking, right? Do you have any guess why? Hmm. Maybe the chef had fallen ill, or... Eh! Wrong answer! <laughs> you tell her, Traveler! Uh, alright. Ding, ding, ding! Yep! It's because the chef was too stubborn. He would keep himself busy every day and try to make the most delicious dishes for all his guests. But he forgot that he's only human and needs time to eat and rest. He was so busy that he didn't even have time to eat and couldn't even taste his own cooking. He was unwilling to seek help even when he's tired because he thought he's the only one capable of cooking the best dishes. Eventually, the people around him felt like they couldn't help him anyway. So they just left. And because he had forgotten the original taste of his dishes, he was no longer a good chef. In the end, his restaurant had no choice but to close for good. Uh, oh, I see. He's overly confident, which disappoints the people around him, and he's so impatient that he ends up losing sight of his original purpose. <sighs> so, that's the whole story. Oh! Um, yep, that's the whole thing. It's not a very good story. Please don't laugh at us. <laughs> hey! Didn't you just say that Paima made a great story? <laughs> mm -hmm. Did you come up with that story? Oh, uh, no! <laughs> Damn it, Paima. Yes. Uh... How should I describe it? The story is very simple, and I suppose the ending isn't really surprising. Hmm? Isn't really surprising? Before you act and don't overexert yourself. Of course, I understand these concepts in theory, but when tasks come to me personally, it is easy to lose sight of the bigger picture. Mm -hmm. Just when it's clouded. Yes. Up in the mountains, we can see the mist in the clouds. Out in the ocean, we can see fog on the sea. That's why, from time to time, we need to examine where we are, remove the fog. Feel our heart. So, how do you feel now, Kuching? How do I feel? Hmm. Deep down inside, I wish I could slow down time. That way, I could finally take the opportunity to walk around the city. <laughs> if you time passes the so fast. I wish to see and watch the fireworks. Thinking back, I used to be even more impatient. My colleagues would resign after just three months of working with me. Wow. You're completely right. It's important to know your boundaries. Uh, but I am getting better. You can tell, can't you? And I did make a promise with you, didn't I? Mm -hmm. We agreed to enjoy the fireworks show together this year. So, happy lantern rites, Traveler mm -hmm. and Paimon. I'm very happy to be here and enjoy this moment together with you. I've poured all my best effort into this fireworks show. And now that we're here, I sincerely hope you will enjoy it. I feel very fortunate to be right here. Happy enjoying the fireworks right as well. <laughs> Get and you. enjoying the view of Liu Harbor. Happy Lantern Right. <laughs> Happy Lantern Right. And thank you. Aww. Hmm? What's happening? Oh, the fireworks, is it? What's happening? Let's see. Mm hmm. I didn't think they even have this kind of scene like this. Mm 
<laughs> oh, that's where the outfit comes from. <laughs> Even Ningguang has the outfit. Only a true treasure catches the eye of Captain Beto. Seems I've struck gold with this one. Send her. Yan Fei, can you? Xiang Ling. Oh, you didn't see it, y'all. I'm glad it's not lagging this time. Oh, haha, who thought? Where are the other two? Ah, oh, there they are. <laughs> hey <laughs> Dr. Baiju, sorry to trouble you again this year. No trouble at all. Lantern right. <laughs> And there it is. The story is over. Hold on. Just what will we come across this time? <laughs> All right. <laughs> what did you think of this year's fireworks display? I just hope this festival can be everything that people want it to be. Really? Uh, I hope you're not just saying that to reassure me. I want you to be straight with me if you have any suggestions. <clears throat> anyway, if you have any time during the festival, take a look around the city. There's a lot to see, but it won't last. So make the most of it. <sighs> if only I had a little more free time. I'd love to take you around and show you everything we did to make the city look special during the festival. Hmm. Okay. So that's the end of the event. But I think event details. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. I was worried that I couldn't exchange the uh new character the, not say new character, a uh, free four star character because I I kinda where is it? Event shop. I kinda exchange everything already. <laughs> and then I thought, oh, I need a thousand for the for the four star character. Oh thank goodness the part three got some more. <laughs> 
So yeah, I just need to uh, do this again. This uh, what is this again? Fireworks. Okay, I just need to do these fireworks. There's three hundred. There's three hundred. That's enough. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. And uh, I assume we got some more here. Yeah, there's some more to do. I'll do this on stream today. I say today, but maybe this video will be out <laughs> like days later. I don't know, weeks later. I don't know. Oh, but all right. Thank goodness. And yeah, I got the skin already here. I just need one of uh, need to finish this to come to get my four star character. Actually, I was thinking Ningguang because. Of all the characters here, Ningguang is so far the one I use uh, besides Xiangling. Uh. The others, I haven't really upgraded them. And uh, yeah, I have everyone ready. Maybe I'll take Ningguang, uh, alright? So anyway, the event is done. <laughs> Alright, yeah, anyway, that's it for this video guys. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.